2021. Hope you guys are ready for this one. Boosted performance single turbo G37 coupe with meth and proper fuel setup. We have big injectors, I think they're 1000 cc injectors and uh, we even have a fuel pump that's in the driver's side of the fuel tank in order to siphon fuel over to the passenger side. So this one's actually a really proper setup. So for those of you who don't know, we had two cars that we were setting up. Uh, one was a, uh, stock, both were actually stock block 370Zs. One was a Gretti Twin Turbo Kit and the other one was a uh, Boosted Performance Single Turbo Kit. Now, the Gretti Twin Turbo Kit's fine, but the Boosted Performance Single one, that one was pushing 727 wheel on a stock block. So we were trying to see how far we could get with it. Unfortunately, that one did not last. It actually surprisingly threw a rod. Not surprisingly, I mean, we were expecting it, but uh, it did it on the 600 wheel map, which was like the, you know, like the lower boost tune. So we were surprised it did that on that lower boost tune, but it was after a night full of racing. One, two, three, go! thing with that is that the fueling is why it happened is why we think it happened we believe it had some kind of fuel starvation issue um, one thing we noticed that we made sure with this car is that we, the fueling setup is proper so that one only had like a Hellcat pumps installed into it and it was feeding fuel through an AAM return system that we had with rails and everything um, now that car we I think we kind of messed up and we didn't install this little expanded diameter regulator piece that's there to make sure that the flow stays like high but on this car we made sure to install that and uh, we did more safety precautions as I was mentioning there is actually a pump installed in this car on the driver's side with a hydromat to suck up fuel and feed it right to the uh, passenger side so we believe he, he the other guy Dill we believe he had a fuel starvation issue uh, which is what led to the actual like the loss of the motor but no big deal as you guys know BQ37s aren't super expensive I think like you can even get them for like a grand 1300 right for like a used one out of a Q50 sedan so we're not really worried about blowing up a stock block we were trying to push the limits of the stock block right so um, that's why we're trying again with this one here so we're gonna see how this one does now and uh, hope, hopefully he's, he's trying to hit like 700 wheel as well the only difference is that he actually has a meth kit as well to keep that octane level high and I think this one's gonna do really well the only thing is the kilometers on this motor is a lot higher so this is at like over hundred and sixty thousand miles or, or like something like 250,000 kilometers so this one's gonna be really interesting to see how it does so stay tuned guys Whoa. This one's gonna be 700 for sure. Seven seventeen five twenty five. Seven seventeen died. <laughs> A little bit more. Left.
power shifting. It's gonna keep doing that. Thank you guys so much for watching make sure to check out my other videos of the g and amg i also drop videos of all kinds of other epic builds that you do not want to miss don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell with the notification so you know exactly when i drop a video see you next time <laughs>